getting into Tiger versus Zerzel very shortly. I believe they did run it to PS2, El Clasico Starter Stadium. Going to be getting into game one. Like you, you said it yourself, the matchup in, on paper is very Fox favored, but so is the Wolf matchup. Mm -hmm. On paper. Absolutely, and I think another thing that's an interesting thing about on paper is that, uh, like you said earlier, that uh, taking Zerzal to FD might be very beneficial for a lot of these players, but uh, it's maybe on, on paper they just think that their character or that Min Min just uh, dominate in that in those situations, when really they have to keep in mind that they're fighting Zerzal, not just a Min, Min. Ooh, and he might be dead here in just a second, gets sent deep off stage, and I'm actually very surprised that the Phantom wasn't, or the Phantasm rather, wasn't beat out by the arm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, down air going to give him an advantageous position, and now we're going to see him much closer, uh, closer to the second. Oh, okay. Uh, an interesting fast fall there. Uh, it's going to result in Zerzel losing the first stock maybe a little bit earlier than he would have otherwise or would have liked to. Uh, Tiger still has the ability to get back to stage here because Zerzel mistimes it, but the upwards nair is going to be the stock falling. The, the thing about this matchup is that you just have to keep juggling Min Min. Don't give her the opportunity to find solace on the ground. As long as you keep her in the air, you're in advantage, and Tiger hasn't been able to do that except for a select few circumstances so far. No, absolutely. And I think that uh, I think that's one thing that's really working for Tiger in this matchup is that his uh, his ability to mix up his uh, uppy uppy angles when recovering the ledge in, on this stage. Uh, something that he's had to do against Sean all, all mopping a lot uh, to not uh, avoid early kills uh, with Pyro and Mithra. Uh, hopefully, we'll help her out in this set as well. Uh, that's not going to help out too much, though, as he gets caught right in the face by a megawatt. Uh, and that's going to be an earlier stock, because Fox, deceptively lightweight, a lot of people forget, just due to the fact that he's a fastballer, but he is able to get that dare into up smash confirmed. So, brings us to even stocks, which is something that uh, that the last few players have been struggling with, is at least taking, uh, taking kills when they're available. And seems to be that Tiger is actually doing a really good job of at least when he like has the opportunity for a kill confirm, he takes it. Absolutely, Tiger keeping him in this vortex. Uh, very scary situation for Min Min to be in. Remember and what I said about juggling. Nah, Don't let Min Min touch the ground. Absolutely, no, the floor is lava and you are the lava. <laughs> Become the lava. <laughs> uh, gonna be seeing there's a little trying to lock down the center stage with uh, the Ram Ram. Looking for uh, not quite an early kill, but uh, an offstage one. At the... I like the high phantasm, and I especially like the mix up from Tiger to, to do the high phantasm and then fade back off stage to mix up Zerzel. That was very beautifully played. Uh, and he just rolls into a megawatt, which that's not nearly as beautifully played. No, uh, no, and, and you have to be very, very careful with the roll approaches in this matchup. Uh, once those get caught, it's uh, it, it can be a terrible situation for you. Yeah, getting caught rolling into Min Min is almost never a good thing. At lower percents, you're almost certainly going to eat a Ram Ram into a Dragon Laser. At higher percents, you're almost certainly going to eat a Megawatt, both of which are going to be devastating for you mm. in any situation. Uh, and it's not somewhere you want to be now, Zerzel. Taking game number one, perhaps looking to head up to loser's side grands to take on Moppin. Mm -hmm. going, going to be going to FD. Hopefully, uh, Baby Tiger is, uh, has thought about a little bit more about uh, the matchup and... Uh, to go to a flat stage to, to try and beat Zerzel and keep him in the air a little bit better. The other thing that I, I've been seeing uh, players here do that very clearly shows that Alabama maybe quite isn't as used to the Min Min matchup as they, they will need to be in the future uh, is they're not watching their angles of approach. Sure. Uh, against Min Min, the, the main angle of approach is going to be diagonally. You need to be coming in aerially, but from up into the side as Tiger finds a beautiful up air for the kill confirm. Because if you uh, approach if you approach uh, horizontally, you just get hit by an arm. If you approach vertically, you just get hit by an up smash. And neither one of them is a good thing. Uh, and speaking of not a good thing for Tiger, he gets caught by the Megawatt yet again on the ledge to very quickly even up the stock count. Mm -hmm. We've seen uh, Tiger's adaptation on display a decent amount throughout this uh, throughout this tournament. Hopefully he can find something in this set with Zerzel uh, to be locked down. However, he's going to have to find it fast, otherwise, because uh, Zerzel's adaptation is equally as, uh, equally as potent. Is going to be able to get the dash attack into the F air. Drag down now, Jabbery set up smash as well. Really good combo there for a whole lot of damage. Absolutely, and a terrible position for Zerzal now. He manages to get past it, though. Regains control of the center stage, but actually hasn't really managed to touch down quite yet as Tiger chases him, but this is what I was talking about. On FD, it removes the ability for Zerzal to be able to mix up his landings, doesn't have the platforms to be able to do that on, and then it's just an infinite game of, like you said, make the floor lava, become the lava, and do not let him land. Absolutely. 
Zerzel certainly making a name for himself more in Alabama, very likely going to be within our top five uh, on, on the PR within the season. Uh, we'll, we'll see you when, that, when those rankings get released uh, late in December. Is going to be coming back to stage now. Two in. There's that staggered hit again and again and again. And I hate to say it, but Zerzel, he's he's within cheesing distance of taking game two as well. Absolutely. Tiger has to be so careful. Mm -hmm. Tiger, Tiger, not uh, not immune to cheese, um, unfortunately. So Fox yeah. is definitely not immune to cheese. No, absolutely not. You're going to have to be playing very uh, very safe to to not get killed here. Oh, gets caught by the grab again. Caught by the dragon as well. Sent onto a ledge situation, and oh no, Noah. Yeah, this is. I don't like this. <laughs> that illusion lost a lot of its uh, lost a, its speed on startup and a lot of its invincibility frames if memory serves. So That's from correct. Smash 4, so, um, watch your get up. Rolls right into it. Rolls into the staggered hit, and he's got to find a way off this ledge. Opts for the double jump. A very well played double jump at that. Can't find the landing up air, and oh, there's dying. the megawatt, oh, and he right. is dead. Zerzel going up 2 0 against Tiger here, stealing that game away. Absolutely. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Tiger's able to, to get some more adaptation in, in, these, uh, in this next set. I assume going back to FD. No, real, no other character to really fall back on, and in theory, he, he shouldn't need to. Um, Running it back in. Why wouldn't you? He played, at least the second stock, he played that correctly, and then he was just really never able to find that same state of flow again against Zerzel, and Zerzel took him for a ride for all he was worth. <clears throat> just kept him stuck on the ledge from 0% to death. Uh, absolutely. Tiger trying to find a little bit more space in this uh, in this first stock. Uh, going to be, be able to send him off stage, though. Uh, make, the, make the most out of this ledge trapping. Uh, turn to center stage. It's caught by the nair into the up air, into the second up air, but he does fall out. Instead, Tiger's going to opt for the double. Phantasm tries for the back air twice in a row. Neither time is successful. There you go. That, that nair, nair up smash going to be successful, however, in taking this first stock. However, you cannot be comfortable against a player like Zerzel. Um, Get show. comfortable until the, the game's over. Absolutely. Because he can always make those ridiculous early kills for ridiculous early comebacks. Absolutely, and even if he does take this game, he still has uh, still has a whopping two more to take for the uh, before taking this up, unfortunately. Yeah, especially on Zerzel's counter pick twice in a row is going to be very difficult. He's he's already struggling on his own counter pick of FD. So once Zerzel gets, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, moving on. Moving on to the final stock of this game, Zerzel is able to take it with a uh, catch on the Phantasm in. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Tiger's been handed this game on a silver platter. So if he if Zerzel's still able to take this, then absolutely props to him. Yeah. On bottom line, uh, doing a great job. Oh of no. Him on ledge. Okay. Uh, no two frame, fortunately, for Tiger. Gets caught by the back throw up towards the dragon laser. No way Tiger dies here, right? Okay. Uh, you, one, would, one would hope not, however. So the, the, the thing about this is that every single one of these should result in Tiger dying if Zerzel plays it correctly. He just sure. keeps mistiming it. Absolutely, yeah. And, That's uh, the scariest part is that Tiger's only alive because Zerzel keeps messing up. Absolutely. Well, Tiger, Tiger's only, it seems like Tiger's only being, uh, keeping this uh, game secure because of Zerzel's previous SD, but Zerzel has just clawed his way back in this <laughs> no game. Way. Zerzel, okay, the up smash out of shield from Tiger is going to result in him putting a point on the board, and that's a very, very well placed point as well. Despite the mistakes from Zerzel coming out, he still very nearly took that game. Absolutely, no, very good play from both players. Uh, hopefully, Tiger is able to able to secure uh, secure game four on uh, on this counter pick, though. We're gonna be seeing this game now. I, I actually didn't <laughs> catch what the counter pick was. Was it town Smashville and? Yeah, we talked about it during the previous set. Smashville, very, very, very good for Min Min. Fox has to be careful, especially given the more limited space to escape from and potentially the, the less devastating mistakes coming out from Zerzel. Probably no more SDs for him. And 52% in 8 seconds. Thank you, Sakurai. <laughs> Uh, no, Tiger not going to have the opportunity to run away. He's going to have to fight the battles that Zerzal picks for him, unfortunately, uh, in this set. However, t uh, Tiger going to have not a uh, little less room uh, to, or a little, little bit less room and more opportunities to scrap with him in these situ situations. At least KK sliders here. 
It is, a, it is a Saturday night. We do have our uh, our good buddy here. Dogs. Bring us the tunes. Saturday nights for KK, dude. <laughs> Saturdays are for the boys. Absolutely. Uh, center stage is also for the boys. As, uh, <laughs> no, like center a stage is for the girls. Oh, <laughs> it's Min oh, Min. <laughs> Min, Min be <laughs> it belongs to Min Min, and we can do nothing about it as Zerzel hits that up smash out of shield. <laughs> tries to find the kill on Tiger. It's not even going to matter that it doesn't do so successfully because it immediately follows it up with the Megawatt to find it anyways. Now the down air back to control center stage, sending Tiger off stage, and this is probably, no, actually, I was about to say a dead marsupial, but he does get back. Absolutely, you know, Zerzal doing an excellent opportunity of using this platform, both for knowing that Tiger is going to try and uh, try and situation situate himself there, but also using that platform to give him more opportunities for uh, for arm setups and stagger pressure. Comes back down to the stage, gets the landing nair, trying to pop Tiger up so that he has another opportunity to let uh, edge guard him. But instead, it's going to be Tiger connecting with that falling up air. Gets the stock a little bit earlier than we would have been seeing on FD, thanks to the shorter ceiling on Smashville. But Zerzel still very much in control of this game. He tried, he tried to fair foot stool. I know, he tried to fair foot stool. This isn't Smashville. Tiger likes to fair foot stool in this game still, um, which is quite the quite the choice. However, uh, the choice not not seeming to matter a ton as he still is able to rack up a lot of percentage. Yeah, like, keep, keep in mind that... Uh, that the arms are actually completely unnecessary to Min Min's two frame game plan. She can also, no way. She can also, He's hella she dead. can also just two frame with uh, uh, down smash. But it literally doesn't matter as Zerzel manages to connect with the dragon laser off stage, not once but twice in a row, <laughs> to find the very very quick victory in game number four and moves on to loser's side grand finals where they'll be facing off against Moppin. Absolutely, uh, Zerzel's had quite the run this event as well. Uh, I believe coming all the way from uh, loser's side outside of top. Eight. I do not know who he lost to in winners uh, to, to be put we, uh, in this Can we get a bracket check on that, yeah. maybe? 